Okay, so we're making a two pump lift station program and as you can see I already started a new one. I changed uh, this ladder's name to main. Uh, the controller that we picked out is the 1766 Micrologix 1400 Series A. Let's make sure I'm recording. Yep. Alright, and um, now we got to enter, uh, I like to enter the I.O. first. So as you can see, I entered a few of them. But uh, if you got a lot of these guys, it kind of takes a while to click, click, type, click, click, type. So instead, what you can do is just enter a f uh, one of them, really, if you want to, in each of the IOs, the input and the output. So this one is pump one. And I'm going to save this. And we'll save this project to side one three A lift station. I'm just gonna save it under my job folder. Okay, and now we are going to ASCII export. And we will go to, let's see. Yes, that's fine. And as you can see, we can drill down, see users, my name, desktop. I like to put it on the desktop. And we have all of these guys. Oh, they exported the wrong one. So we're going to go back and export the right one this time. Which is going to be the address and symbol description. Same thing, desktop. Okay. it here and now you can see all of tag names that I already put in and um, so there's one output and the rest of the inputs so I like to come here we got 19 inputs so I'm going to insert those copied cells and just highlight and go down to 19. Do the same here. Same thing here. Now we see that uh, it kind of breaks everything up. And uh, if we do a length just kind of see that that has 11 in it. That has 19 in it. And this has 11 characters in it. So it, it's, it looks like 20 characters is about the max that's going to let you put in each one of these columns. So keeping that in mind, we will uh, just type in the rest of the I.O. And it's a lot quicker this way when you can just type in one, two. And really, I could just copy and paste all that. And then control find, place one with two, place all, and bam, there we go. As long as they're the same going down, which. Uh, looks like we got COFL, hand, auto, running, fault, yes. And we'll go high wastewater level, low wastewater level, spare, spare, spare. So that's all our inputs. And just delete these rows. Now we're going to do our outputs, of which we have, looks like a little 12 outputs. 
Let me copy these again. And the reason why I have to, I like to label just one of those is that um, it gives you an example to follow. So uh, if you already know what you're doing, you don't really need to label any of this in the actual program before you go to Excel. You can just go right to Excel and enter these in, and it'll be exactly the same. But uh, I always forget the format, so I like to just do one and then come back over here. So now we can see that uh, you can see that Excel is counting up 9, 10, 11. So we're here, same thing, and same thing here. A lot of times I'm not even sure what all of these zeros are for, or various rows but um, if they put them for one, uh, if they have them for uh, one that you made in the program obviously it's needed so um, all right so we have pump one required pump two required watchdog timer spare 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 and all the rest of my spares so we just go down here, Oop. delete those, you can save it, it's going to say do you want to keep it in CSV, which is a comma separated variable, seems to be a pretty common format um, for logics and other programs to store their data in, which makes it nice for us to be able to manipulate uh, massive quantities, say you had like you know, five cards full of I.O. And uh, this would be a lot quicker than having to click, 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 click. Um, also, if your uh, project manager gives you a Excel sheet with all the labels already in it, which oftentimes they will have, uh, it makes it really easy just to copy and paste. So um, for this program, we could probably just enter them by hand, but uh, try to be as efficient as possible and, and get in the habit of using the good techniques um, that allow us to tackle some of the larger projects uh, more efficiently. So I'm going to save that guy and we will see CSV file, we're going to replace it, blah blah blah, yes, okay. Now we are going to import, uh, import CSV. And it's right here. So you can kind of read these as overwritten, overwritten, blah, blah, blah. So anything we had in that CSV file, it's going to take and it's going to overwrite what was already here. So um, it's convenient for us. So now we can come in here and see that to wash down, spare, spare, spare. Um, we can go up here and see all of these are put in. Alright, so we have all of our I.O. put in, and um, now we can start making the program. 